Welcome into the corral this evening for high school boys basketball here on WOSN. Tonight, Allen East opening their 2023-2024 campaign hosting the Ridgemont Golden Gophers. Good evening, everyone. I'm Patrick Hamler, joining alongside me, Darren Gilbert, and looking forward to basketball action as the uh, Golden Gophers and the Mustangs uh, competing last year around this time. It's been almost a calendar year since these two teams met. Allen East with the nine-point win, but Allen East looks a lot different than they did last year. Yeah, they, they lost some key pieces, obviously, and had to replace a couple in the process, and unfortunately lost one of their best players as far as defensively and effort-wise, and Braylon Schultz, so they gotta go with the next man up mentality. But like you said, it's opening night. They've got one of the premier point guards in the area, and Carson Klum, you know, he's like that, that straw that stirs the drink as he goes, the rest of the team goes, and. You're looking at a Ridgemont ball club that, that came from behind and beat Ada, and then they played a school out of Columbus called Kip and was down 30 plus going to the fourth quarter, and they cut it down under double digits with under two minutes to go with the ball. But they exerted so much effort to get back into the game, they just couldn't get over the hump. They have some kids that can really shoot the basketball. They're under a new regime this year with Tyler Tillman you know, taking the coaching job, a Ridgemont graduate, along with his assistant, Ty Sherman, who actually played for me at Kenton. Very high basketball IQ. So, yeah, I think we're in for a, a real treat tonight, Patrick. Looking forward to a great matchup. Of course, this a very uh, experienced Ridgemont team that comes back as the tip-off is controlled by the Gophers to get things started for Allen East. It's uh, a, a mix of kind of old and new. Of course, you mentioned Carson Klum. We'll see the uh, offense here in just a second. Nice second chance opportunity, and we're going to have our first foul of the contest. Logan Helzer, the 6'2 junior, picking up foul number one for the Mustangs. Yeah, that second effort right there by Colton Manns on the glass. They called the foul on the floor, but still, Allen East giving up a second opportunity in this first possession of the game. Harrison Reppert. With the basketball, briefly double teamed. Connor Manns, Manns passing it off, looking inside. There's the kickback pass, and that is off the rim, no good, rebounded by the Mustangs. Yeah, I'm not so sure he didn't pass up a high percentage there from two feet, and they went for the three and said, looking back, probably should have put that one up inside the paint. Deacon Jones getting it to Trey Hensley, around to Ethan Young. Thought about it. Back into the hands of Carson Klum. Klum, five assists away from the all-time school record. And make that four away from the all-time record as he hits number four, Deacon Jones, for the first bucket of the night. Yeah, that's a big shot for the sophomore there. Nice pass by Klum on the dish off. Got his feet set and knocked it down. There's a pretty play by back, the Gophers. Back door wide open. Connor Manns goes through it. Three to two, Alan East. Xavier Stuck. Tossing a dime there on the dribble drive with a solid little bounce pass and the finish. Jones saving that one from going out of bounds. Now Clum controls over to Young with a minute and a half gone by here in the first quarter. Clum feed inside, pass intercepted. Reppert getting his hands on it. Gophers control. And now Reppert underneath, fadeaway layup, no good. Clum with the rebound. Weaving through traffic, nice bounce pass. And, that, and that's Jones. what he does, Patrick. He, he's really good in the open court, and when he gets that motor going, it's hard to stop him. They've got to slow him down if Ridgemont wants to put themselves in an opportunity tonight to win this game. Colton Bailey with the three-point shot, no good. Here's Clum again, distributing, and that layup up and in by Logan Helser. And again, it all started with Clum in the penetration down the middle of the lane with the dump off. That has Clum three away now from the school record. Now Ridgemont trying to get it going. There is a nice scoop shot up and in. Yeah, that's a pretty move right there. Went to the left shoulder, got by the defender and flipped it up. Nice move there by that young man, Colton Manns, coming in averaging 20 points a contest. Hensley from downtown, off the rim, no good. Xavier Stuck bringing it up. 
This is Connor Manns. Manns with trouble, able to save it, and we're going to get a tie-up. Possession arrow favoring the Gophers. Great sportsmanship by both basketball players and both teams right there, helping him up off the floor. So the possession arrow favored the Gophers. At least that's what they showed us, so. Yeah, there was a confusion over there. Okay, at the so it's table. Allen East basketball. They then. got her all figured out. Okay. Let's play on. No argument from head coach Gabe Young. Working inside, nice pass in now. Hensley has it. Helzer, fade away, no good. Helzer following a shot off balance and he will head to the foul line for the first time tonight. Yeah, that's a fundamental miss box out right there. And Mr. Helzer followed his shot to 6'2", Jr. Went back up with it, drew the foul. He's going to get two free throws. First two free throws for Allen East this young season. And the first Lee's Famous Recipe free throw is good. Second, Lee's free throw is good. Nine to four, Allen East on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. Comes a little full court pressure, one, two, two. Long pass, open, Bailey in the corner, around the rim, no good. Elzer with the rebound, Logan very active here in the early going for the Mustangs. Yeah, for, you're the Gophers, you gotta like that shot, it was a great skip pass. High percentage from that left corner, just didn't, couldn't knock it down. Working the ball around. Jones from downtown, high off the rim, backboard, no good. Now Gophers pushing the issue. Here's Colton Manns, kick out. Bailey driving in. A lot of traffic and nicely defensed by Helzer. And back the other way come the Mustangs. Ethan Young from way downtown around the rim and no good. Colton Bailey with another defensive carom there for the Golden Gophers. Oh, nice, nice bounce. pass inside and sure deep was. to Stuck. Boy, Getting behind one, the defense. Go one ahead. One thing they do very well, Patrick, early on is they utilize that bounce pass, don't they? They don't throw through arms. Indeed they do. Clum driving inside. Nice pass, and wow. Hauser will head to the line again. There's that little quick dish. And that's that's the experience you was talking about coming back from last year. You know, I had the pleasure to work with Coach Young this summer with AAU and had his boy and Carson Clum involved. You know, what great kids. And he's a good person as, as a head basketball coach, very knowledgeable uh, at both ends of the floor. And his son can really shoot it. And obviously we talked about Carson and his abilities. Without a doubt, that first Lee's free throw is good. Some substitutions in for Ridgemont. Connor Manns is going to have a seat. Try to see who came in for him. Second Lee's free throw is up I and think it good. Was Mason zero. Howard yes. comes in for the Golden Gophers. So the Mustangs perfect from the foul line so far. Four for four. Leading 11 to six here in the first quarter. 333 remaining on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. Good job shutting off that dribble drive right there by the Golden Gophers. Howard controlling for the Gophers, trying to cut it inside to Bailey, but loses the handle on it, and it gets the ball to Carson Klum. Klum taking it strong inside around the rim, no good. He's a master at that little floater right there. He just couldn't get it to go down. Nice move there by Howard. Couldn't get that one to go, and now back and forth we go. This is... Young kicking it out to Klum, and he'll reset. 250 and counting left in the first quarter. Yeah, both these ball clubs want to make it a track meet, so to speak, and get it up and down the floor. Three ball on the way from Ethan Young, and it's up and good. Yeah, you let him have time and space, he's going to knock that down a, a high percentage. 5'11", Junior, putting up three points, and now back the other way come the Gophers. That turnaround shot by Ruppert is short. Klum gives it up. Deacon Jones from downtown, no good. 
Ball slapped into the hands of Mason Howard. Al Howard directing traffic, 14 to six, Allen East. A pass inside, Reppert collects himself and puts up two and, points. And that's the key word, he gathered himself and played strong with the basketball. Good finish here, nice and play. And Reppert coming up there, the defense as well, but Hensley saves it for Allen East. Yeah, I think we got a hold right here on Howard. Yeah, indeed we do. That is going to be the first on Howard. Got two really quick kids guarding one another on the perimeter right now. I think we got a timeout on the floor. Okay. Well, no, we don't. Okay, we'll keep it right here. A little play on. Mustang basketball, minute 38 left in the first quarter. Plum has it. Brady Brooks checking in for Allen East, controlling the basketball right now. Giving Hensley a rest, and that three-pointer in and out, and then Brady Brooks following the shot, kicking it around. Ethan Young up top, no good. Yeah, Ridgemont really lucky right there, giving that second opportunity up. Bailey kick out here is Manns. In trouble, fade away, and count it, and the foul. Yeah, I think they got Brooks. Well, what a strong finish right there by that young man, Mr. Colton Mans. Coming in, averaging 20 points a game, partner. Mm -hmm. He's already shot 17 free throws for the first from the first two games of the year. And the three-point play, the old-fashioned one, is good. And just like that, it was a six-point lead. Now it's down to a three-point lead. Yeah, tonight's one of these games. If you play loose with it, your defender's going to take it from you. And either team right now are playing really loose with it. They're, they're securing it. And I think they got uh, Howard again, right? They did indeed. So that's his second. So we're going to have a substitution here really fast as Connor Manns is going to check back in for Howard. They still haven't put that extra point up for Ridgemont. The scoreboard showing 14 to 10. Uh, should be 14 to 11, at least by my count. I didn't major in math. Clump distributing, and the basketball goes back to Ridgemont. Here's Stuck driving inside, around, and down. Pretty move on the baseline by Xavier Stuck. He's a kid that plays in the summertime. His dad used to be the coach. He has a brother playing at Otterbein right now. Very high basketball IQ. Nice finish at the rim on the, on the backside, drawing contact. Do you happen to see who that was on, partner? I did not. Slusher, I believe, number zero. It's what the board has. That leads to his first free throw is good. And we are all tied up. 8-0 run for the Golden Gophers as we are 37 seconds left in the first quarter. Nice help and recover by uh, nice. Stock. Hustle there, Grant Slusser. But the Gophers recover, taking it strong. Colton Manns around the rim and down. And Ridgemont on top for the first time tonight, 16-14. Pretty move there, nice little finger roll finish by the young man. Now Plum with the basketball, coming up on seven seconds, takes it strong, finger roll, doesn't go. Looking for the call, doesn't get it, three seconds. Half court, Pat, shot is no good. Repper tried to put it up, but time ran out. That's one quarter in the books here from the Corral. 16-14, Richmond on top. We'll be back here on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is the Kenton Moose Family Center. The Kenton Moose is Hardin County's home for great food, fellowship, and friends. That's the Kenton Moose 428 in Kenton. Online at kentonmoose428.com. And our free throw sponsor tonight, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. 
Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken home style happens here. Gold Gophers with an impressive 8-0 run to end the first quarter to, I'm sorry, making that a 10-0 run to take a 16-14 lead as we begin the second. I'm Patrick, he's Darren, and uh, what a uh, what a fun start for the first quarter. It really was, you know, at Ridgemont, you know, they had nothing, no idea on Allen East being the opening night. The only thing they can go by is tape from last year, maybe a scrimmage tape, but you know, they, they hung in there and did a lot of good things, and they've got that two-point lead here going here into the second quarter on the road. That's big. So the Gophers have the basketball as we begin the second quarter. Clayton Patterson checking in for the Golden Gophers to join Manns, Reppert, Stuck, and Bailey. And now Bailey working inside against Carson Klum. Hensley with the rebound and bumped by Reppert. Yeah, I think they got Reppert with the push right there. Yeah, like you said, Bailey made a nice move. Klum being undersized tried to take the charge. That's one I think Bailey would like to have back if he would have got his feet underneath him. The percentage of the shot would have went up dramatically, but uh, he may have rushed it just a little bit. I, I think you're right. Probably also looking maybe for a little contact while he's putting the shot up and ended up with neither. Step back three for Young and no good. And they're just gonna let this one go out of bounds. It'll be Ridgemont basketball. That's a good job contesting that shot for the Golden Gophers. Not quite sure who it was, but they recognized Young hitting that first one in the first quarter and did a better job closing out. Gophers bringing it up. Connor Manns, the junior guard. Bailey double teamed and Klum with the theft taking it all the way up and in for two points. Yeah, he baited him into that one, didn't he, to put it on the yes, floor. He, did. he was waiting for it. That's what a little pesky guard will do. Nice pass. And couldn't get it to finish. Ridgemont though, second chance opportunity, kicking out. This is Manns. Just shy of the baseline, no good. Klum with an opportunity and will commit the foul. Yeah, got Madison him. Ridgemont to the line. Sorry so, about good. that part. No, he got him across the arm. That's that's one of those Carson's got to use that that body of his at 5'7". He's not going to out jump people. He may out quick him, but he's got to get a body on somebody. A lot of credit to Connor Manns right there, securing that offensive rebound. That's what Ridgemont does. They do that very well. I noticed one of the stats is their ability. Xavier Stucks already got six offensive rebounds on the year, and a host of other ones with three. Both those Lee's famous recipe free throws are good. It's an 18-16 lead for Ridgemont. Klum quickly back up the floor. He's going to take it strong and takes it up and in off the glass and down. Yeah, they got to keep him out of the box. That's, that's his bread and butter, getting into the lane, neither dishing or shooting that little floater. That's four points for Carson. And we are tied back up at 18. Good ball moving by the Golden Gophers. Try to get that one in just off the hands of uh, Dominic Curl. Yeah, that was thrown just a little bit too hard. Right idea, he was open on the pick and roll. Hensley cross court to Brooks. Brooks looking for some space, finds a little bit, and nice pass off the glass and in. Yeah, they, uh, they didn't really do a very good job hedging that screen, and he saw it and penetrated. Free ball on the way, no good. Klum with the rebound and has the foul. Is Looks like they're gonna ring up Curl. Yeah, with the reach in. Yeah, those are the ones you don't wanna see, you know, 85, 84 feet away from the basket. You wanna be aggressive, but you also gotta be smart in your decision making on fouls. Able to get the basketball in, but Bailey comes up with a steal. He puts it up from 16, and it's good. Nice steal by the young man. Great hustle. Tapped it to himself. Knocked down, like you said, the 15, 16 footer along the baseline. Back and forth we go. Here's Jones from downtown. That's short. Bailey with the rebound. Stuck long pass. Oh, great to Manns. pass. Looking inside and connects as Connor Manns 
Puts it up and in. Very unselfish play by Colton Manns right there. Nice catch and finish by Connor Manns at the rim. And tapped away from Deacon Jones, and that will be Ridgemont basketball. Yeah, that appeared to be and Colton Manns. If you look at Ridgemont's roster partner, they got one senior. They're young. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Allen East for... And I look at Allen East, they only have two. Yeah, both of these teams are, are very young. And, and yeah, you look at the junior varsity for Allen East, and Allen East's oh. junior varsity earlier today uh, won. Freshmen, <laughs> except for uh, one player, the rest of them are freshmen. Yeah, they got a, both these teams have a bright future. So the class of 27 could be really something here for the Mustangs. Yeah, they're looking at the mismatch with uh, Stuck inside, and they got it. Turn around. They sure did. Is up and good by Stuck. Yeah, he went down and posted up and went to the center and spun back and got it on the glass. Nice move. What, a, what great execution right there for the Golden Gophers. Now here's Hensley back the other way, high off the glass and in. Boy, he's so athletic and has such a quick first step. Bailey all alone. Three ball is good. Can you see his confidence going up with yep. the steal and the 15-footer? You yep. can just see a little extra hop in his step. He's got a nice touch on the basketball. Like you look, he looks comfortable out there. It looks like it's a shot that he shoots uh, quite a bit and is comfortable with. As the ball poked away and then poked away again from Brooks and does recover it. Long pass into the hands of Jones. Back to Brooks. Brooks, 24-footer, and knocks it down. Big shot right there by that young man, Brooks. Timeout on the court. 3.30 left in the first half. We'll be back. Back 3.30 remaining in the first half. A two-point lead for Ridgemont. Back and forth second quarter as the Gophers control it. A little give and go. And absolutely, and Mason Howard connects on the layup. Tie for the largest lead of the night for Ridgemont at four points. An indication of just how back and forth this one has been so far. Now Jones' path to the lane and can't get it, but Hensley is there to clean it up. Yeah, I just heard Coach Tillman say about ball watching on defense. Trying to thread the needle there. Howard trying to get it to Xavier Stuck, and there were a lot of Allen East hands in the way. Yeah, that's one of those. If you got to throw, throw it to hand, you better not throw it. And it hit a defender and then went off of Stuck's hand also out of bounds. Yep. Yeah, Howard's got to be careful. He's got those two fouls. He doesn't want to be overly aggressive because that, that goes into the bench for Ridgemont if he gets his third. I was going to say Howard has two fouls. Harrison Reppert, here's Jones up and good. Yeah, Mr. Jones isn't shy about letting that three go, is he? No, he's not. It gives the Mustangs the lead, 30 to 29 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. So Harrison Reppert went out earlier for the Gophers. He had two fouls. He has not come back in. Pull up is short. Rebounded by Young. Good job on the glass where the white and blue right there. Young in trouble. Now double teamed. Trying to find someone and Coach Young calls timeout. 2.02 remaining in this one as Allen East holding on to a one point lead in the second quarter. Uh, the still the first quarter really was about spurts. You saw Allen East had kind of a spurt. They took a had a 5-0 run, gave them the lead, and then you saw Ridgemont close very strongly with a 10-0 run. That was the first quarter. Second quarter has been more back and forth as we've more gone that back ahead. and forth. Both teams are landing on the line. They're playing exceptionally hard. You know, my concern is first game for Allen East. Can they maintain their legs for four quarters? You know, there's a heck of a difference between practicing and playing in the game situations and 
depth-wise, it'll be interesting to see how many both bo or coaches both play in this contest tonight. Because come the fourth quarter, we're gonna we're gonna see some tired puppies out there on the floor. That's for sure. Scoring has been pretty spread out for the Golden Gophers. Is a number of guys already in the uh, book. Xavier stuck with seven points so far. Colton Manns with five points. Connor Manns with six, and Colton Bailey with five points. Yeah, coming in, Colton Manns 20 a game. Colton Bailey 10 and a half. Xavier Stuck seven and a half, plus uh, six rebounds per contest. Harrison Reppert eight. You know, that's huge having those two fouls. I see they're gonna put him in and let him ride those two fouls. He's gotta be smart. Three ball in the corner, bangs around the rim and out. Good box out by Xavier Stuck right there. Bailey, three ball, swish. Yeah, early on he was struggling, but boy, I'm telling you, he's hit his last three and that all started with that steal. He's found a spot on the court. There's Klum trying to distribute. Yeah, he got himself bounds. caught in the air and no man's land had nowhere to go with it. Not real good spacing there by the home Mustangs. And Klum with the steal. Gonna take it up and in. But you know what? He came right back and made a steal, didn't he, partner, and took it, it to the rim and finished. He absolutely did. Steal high, in the bucket. High motor, plays with a very even keel. Just shows no emotion on the floor. He's capable of it, but he's, he's the captain and the quarterback of this basketball team. Gonna be a four-year letter winner, I believe. I believe you're right. Watched his brother Tyler a few years ago run the offense for Allen East. All conference defensive back in football this year also. Here's Bailey again from downtown, no good. Yeah, that one come off a little funny, a little flat right there. It was opposite side of the court. Here's Klum again. Couldn't get it to finish and second chance opportunity not in there. Here's Reppert driving, stopping and gets the bucket to fall. Shooter's That's, roll. Well, not only that, but you gotta give the kid credit. He did a really good job pulling up right there on a dime from 12 mm. feet. He takes that any closer, it's gonna be a charge. Yeah. Smart basketball play by the young man. 35 seconds left in the second quarter. We'll see if the Mustangs hold for last shot. Clum with the basketball. Jones, splash down. And that puts Allen East on top, 35-34 with 20 seconds left. You know what, if you can shoot the three with a high percentage, and I'm talking over 30, 32%, you gotta let it rip, and Alan East is not afraid to do that. They've got the green light, that's for sure. Without a doubt, here's Howard looking to pass it off. Two seconds, Manns fires it up, double covered, no good. As we head to halftime, it's a one point lead for the home team. Mustangs 35, Gophers 34. We'll be back for the second half when we come back here on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is the Kenton Moose Family Center. The Kenton Moose is Hardin County's home for great food, fellowship, and friends. That's the Kenton Moose 428 in Kenton. Online at KentonMoose428.com. And the free throw sponsor tonight, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens. 35-34, Allen East on top of Ridgemont here from the Corral and Allen East for WOSN High School Basketball Action. Patrick Hamler, Darren Gilbert here with you in the first half of really nip and tuck all the way. And as we uh, as we noticed before, uh, halftime gets finished here. Very balanced scoring attack by the Golden Gophers oh, tonight. Oh, if you're, if you're the head coach of Ridgemont and you're, you're the coach of Allen East, you gotta be concerned because you look at the scoring column, eight, seven, seven, six, four, Plus, you got solid minutes from the bench. And then on the other side, if you're Ridgemont, you've got to be concerned about Allen East and their ability to shoot the three. They've got to, it all starts with their quarterback, you know, number three, Carson Klum. If you can make him give the basketball up or keep him from out of the paint and keep him two passes away, it's going to make your team better. But Klum does so many things positively 
you know, you can't just have the one focal point. We saw what Deacon Jones can do. Ethan, uh, uh, excuse me, Young, he can shoot the basketball also. So we are back to action as a scrum breaks out for the basketball. Clum had it, lost it, got it back, passed it, and into the hands of the Golden Gophers. That was a 17 second sequence. And Clum, look at the oh yeah, look at the He's, hands and oh the yeah. energy. Here, put his nose right in yep. on the basketball. Here's Bailey, wide open for a three, no good. Switching sides of the court now. Clum passing it off, kicks it out. Jones for three, no. High off the glass, no good. Balanese gets it back. Hensley, extra pass, but stuck is there to corral it. Good job defensively right there, going walling up, and then also by Stuck getting the deflection and the steal. Man's in trouble and gets it poked away. Here's Logan Helzer. Clum back to Helzer. Helzer left hand, and it is good. First points of the second half for the Mustangs. Yeah, Clum with the steal, Clum with the assist right there. Got to take care of the basketball if you're the Golden Gophers, especially on the road. Carson Clum one dime closer to the all-time school record. Here's Reppert, top of the key, three is no good. Young dribbling it in trouble, gives it up to Carson. Now Carson back to Young, now to Clum. Good job showing by the Gophers right there on that high ball screen. Not letting Clum turn the corner. That's exactly what you want to do. Jones directing traffic, getting the pick from Helzer, kicks it out to Clum. Jones thought about the 25-footer. Yeah, Richmond's electing to switch that high ball screen now. Saw a lot of running and gunning here in the first half from both teams. More set plays, at least in the early going here. Helzer, kick out to Young. Three ball, no good. And i uh, going to say last touch by Ridgemont. Yeah, I think it went off a of Reppert. Looked like... Uh, I think you're right. I think Hensley got on the inside position right there. Reppert very fortunate not to get that third foul. Clum inbounds, Hensley inside. Second chance by Young, no good. Here's Helzer. And he will go to the line. That's his third trip, I believe, as Xavier Stuck is assessed the foul. Yeah, that one his right first. there. That one right there, partner, did not please Coach Tillman. He wants five on both side of the floor, and they got they got caught basically with their head turned. And Allen East, as aggressive they are, they went after and got a couple second opportunities. This young man tonight, perfect five for five with the charity strike. Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw one good and two is good. Ten points for Helzer. I don't even know if he's hit the net or the, excuse me, the rim. I don't think he has. And now another turnover forced by the Mustang defense. Clum has it, works inside, finger roll is short. Clum getting it back, working inside, doesn't get it to go. Stuck pass to Manns. Cross court to Reppert. And now Manns. Reppert just outside the charity stripe around the rim and out. Carson with the rebound and slapped away by Colton Manns. It will stay with the Mustangs. Yeah, Coach Tillman is explaining to the kids to attack the basket, don't settle for threes. And that's what got him the, you know, in, in good position in the first half was the dribble drive action and the dump downs, especially using the bounce pass. They're not getting that here right. early in this third quarter. Three ball on the way for Young and drains it. 10-0 run for the Mustangs going back to the second quarter. 42-34, and another steal. Clum taking it right up the middle and finger rolls it in for two more. And the Gophers want to talk it over. Tyler Tillman calling the timeout. 10-point lead for Allen East, their largest of the night. We'll step away and take that timeout. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN.
Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is the Kenton Moose Family Center. The Kenton Moose is Hardin County's home for great food, fellowship, and friends. That's the Kenton Moose 428 and Kenton online at kentonmoose428.com. It's a 44-34 lead for Allen East. Mustangs on a 12-0 run, and turnovers have been the catalyst here, partner. Well, I think culmination of the turnovers and also the offensive rebounds and not getting the ball to the basket and settling for threes have got them down 10. And we're going to have a tie-up here in the possession arrow favoring Ridgemont. Yeah, they went to a half-court trap right there, and that's where Ridgemont has either got to throw the ball diagonal or get the ball reversed and then attack from the backside. He's stuck looking for somebody, and Helzer is who he finds. Helzer taking it all the way in and down. Young man's had a good night tonight. There's that full court pressure. Clum with another steal, and that one blocked. Clayton Patterson, the senior, getting his hands up. Yeah, I think they got Clum with the push right there. That will be the second on Clum. Got to like it. He's telling the players where to go, even though he's going off the yep. court. That's leadership and being a captain. A lot of time left. The Gophers just got to settle down. Brady Brooks checking in in place of Carson Clum. And Patterson lets that three ball go. It's a long. Deacon Jones bringing it up the floor. Hook shot is up and good. Nice little soft runner by Mr. Jones. 16 to 0 run for the Mustangs. Give him 13. Patterson cutting it inside and he will head to the line as I think Maybe Brooks got him. Appeared to take be that number back. two. They got, yeah, they got Ethan Young, number Ethan two. Young, his second. Nice dribble drive right there, a little slash action. Getting to the rim. Lee's famous recipe, chicken free throw is up and good as Clayton Patterson, one for four from the charity stripe heading into this one. Young man, the only senior on the basketball team. And he gets the first points of the third quarter for the Golden Gophers. And the second least free throw is no good. Jones brings it up. Three ball on the way is short. And a blocking foul is going to be called against Brady Brooks. Yeah, I think they got him with a body. Coach Young's got a concern about the call, but I'll tell you, the official's right on top of yep. it. He got his explanation. Nothing wrong with working the officials. <laughs> as long as you're cordial about it, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. talk to you. Good piece of officiating, good piece of coaching. Gophers trying to get something going here as is a 13-point lead. And something that Allen East Mustangs were uh, pretty good at last year. They had a 14-8 record. They would get out to leads where they really seemed to struggle was keeping those leads and keeping their foot on the gas. I'm sure that's something that Gabe Young has uh, has talked to the about and something that they would uh, definitely like to see this year. Once you get a lead, hold it. Yeah, maintain the thing. That one. Yeah, because their pressure is relentless. He has variations of pickup spots on the court. You know, and if you have, you know, struggles bringing the basketball up and they can expose you, that's exactly what the Mustangs will do. They will put you in uncomfortable situations. So the Mustangs have been very high energy, and you, know, you mentioned being uncomfortable. The Gophers have not looked comfortable on offense at all in this third quarter. They are still looking for their first field goal with two and a half minutes remaining, and Leopard's shot no good. Now Bailey tries in, and he's blocked from behind by Klum. Scrum for the basketball, Bailey gets it back. Third opportunity, fall away shot, no good. Manns has his shot blocked by Brooks. Klum taking it inside, tries to dish it off, able to save it. 
Hensley good. recovers to Brooks now. Good play by Bailey. He's had quite a few deflections tonight. Now Klum has it, coming up on two minutes. Remaining in the third quarter, cross pass to Brooks, three ball around the rim and out. Grant Slusser put it up and he will head to the line. Yeah, that's a big miss box out right there by the Golden Gophers. But. Clayton Patterson, his first foul. Mr. Slusher, the 6'3 junior, did a heck of a job going to the offensive glass. His first. Lee's free throw is no good. So Bailey and Patterson will check out. Connor Manns and Colton Manns checking in for the Gophers. Second Lee's free throw is in and out. That one went about as far down as it yeah, could before sure popping did. out. And now another steal. Brooks forcing the turnover. Nice dish to Slusser, and Slusser will have another opportunity to shoot two. I'll tell you, the 6'3 juniors come off the bench in the last minute or so, and this gave great effort at both ends of the floor. He's going to get his third and fourth free throw of this contest. It almost looks like Allen East right now is there just taking and trapping the first pass and rotating over and Ridgemont is, is throwing the reversal pass and they're shooting that gap. They gotta make sure they get the ball down in the post or skip it hard to the backside. That's how you get rid of that, that trap right there on that first pass and the reversal pass. Get it to the backside. Second Lee's recipe free throw is no good. Slusser comes back around on the pass and it's kind of like a reverse three point play. Timeout on the court. Gophers want to talk this one over. It is a 51-35 lead for Allen East. We'll be back here on WOSN. Welcome back, 138 remaining in the third quarter, a 16-point lead for Allen East, a third quarter that has belonged entirely to the Mustangs. A 19 to run to one run going back to the second quarter. Gopher still looking for the first field goal. Will he get it here? Absolutely not. Carson Klum with the block. And the ball poked away and the Gophers cannot complete a pass as there Xavier Stuck with the first bucket of the third quarter for the Gophers, makes it 51-37, Allen East. Yeah, nice aggressive move right there by Stuck, getting it to the rim. Shooter's roll for Carson Klum. And there you see what happens when you're having so many problems completing passes. You try and throw one up somewhere where you're only your guy can get it and just couldn't complete the pass that time. Now they're discussing to see who it went off on. I thought it was off of uh, Ridgemont, but they're going to give it to the Gophers. Good piece of officiating right there. Got them together, made the decision, and still kept Ridgemont basketball. I think they thought it was deflected. So Ridgemont keeps it under a minute in the third quarter. Reppert back on the court. Here is Stuck and Stuck. Plum trying to draw the charge and instead will be called for the block. That'll be the third on Plum. So he will head back to the bench. Deacon Jones will come in for him. That's a good job by Stuck trying to get to the rim. He's not settling for jump shots. Good job by Plum and Ethan Young also. But just unfortunate, that's a 50-50 call and it went against the uh, Mustangs and Plum. Man's three-pointer is up and good. Big shot by Connor Manns right there from the right corner. Cutting it down to a 14-point lead with 30 seconds left in the third quarter. 54-40 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. And that shot, no good. Here's Slusser to clean it up, and he does. Yeah, that's a good no call. There was not enough contact in there. Good job by Deacon Jones avoiding that charge. 
Here's Bailey working it inside nice and count it. And one coming up for Colton Bailey. See, that's exactly what Ridgemont did in the first half. And they had good things. They went down only one going in at halftime. And they didn't come out and do that. Give a lot of credit to Allen East and their tenacity at the defensive end of the floor and with their presses caused a lot of turnovers. So it's good to see Ridgemont bouncing back, doing what they did in the first half, and that was getting it to the rim. Lee's famous recipe, chicken free throw is good. 11 points for Bailey, six seconds left in the third quarter. Quick pull up, no good for Jones. Throwing this one up, and no good. That's three quarters of the books. Allen East with a 13 point lead, 56 to 43. We're back for the fourth quarter here on WOSN. Welcome back, our free throw sponsor tonight, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens. To the fourth quarter we go, 56-43, Allen East in command. This one at home, the 2023-2024 lid lifter for the Mustangs. Patrick Candler, Darren Gilbert here with you. And uh, we'll see how the fourth quarter goes, but the story of this one could be the 19-2 Allen East run at the end of the second, uh, the entirety, almost the entirety of the third quarter that put the Mustangs in command of this one, partner. Yeah, I think the pressure had a lot to do with it. And again, when you, when you form that pressure with turnovers and easy basket opportunities, that'll get you 19-2 yep. run. You know, it doesn't get any easier for Allen East. They're gonna jump right back into it on the eighth at LCC against Coach Powell and the T-Birds. We'll have that contest for you on WOSN as well. Young man's got 14 tonight. 58-43 now. The inbounds, now Manns has it. And he is going to be fouled by Brooks. Golden this Gophers are going to be third. off. Golden Gophers are going to be off until the 16th when they play West Jefferson hmm. at home. I know they did move the USV game to Friday. December 29th, I do know that Dr. Dre White tonight, he said that was moved. Okay. Rebound here corralled by Helzer. Good job there by Ridgemont. They did try to attack the paint area. Just couldn't knock it down. Tell you what, Logan Helzer for Allen East has had a very quiet 14 points. Nice steal there by Stuck. Yes, he has. He's done a real good job shooting it from the foul line. They, they free throw and he's taking advantage of those and now Helzer will get called for his second foul. Smart play there by Stuck, not vo avoiding the contact, but going to it, gonna get two free throws for his effort. Second team foul, and of course, one of the changes to high school basketball rules this year is the number of fouls reset after every quarter. This Lee's free throw is up and good. And on the sixth foul, there are no more one and ones in high school basketball. After the sixth foul each quarter, the team will be shooting two foul shots each of the way through. So it's a, it's a little bit of an adjustment. And as with all these things, it seems like half the coaches are fine with it. Half the coaches are yeah. not crazy about it. Um, we just had a we'll see how it goes. We just had a violation right there. Apparently Stuck was over the line, so that nullified the first point. He does, though, make the second one, gives him 10 for the contest. Second Lee's free throw is good. Now a 14-point Allen East lead inside Helzer. It will not count, though. Offensive foul. Away from the basketball is... It was off the pass. It was, it was, yeah, it was off the pass. You're yeah. correct. You're correct. Fourth yeah. foul for Brady Brooks. Bailey did a really good job. Colton Bailey standing in there and taking that charge. Brooks was just a little bit out of control there and leaned too much, and Bailey took the charge. Turnover, Mustangs. Trying to make something happen here as Ridgemont. Here's Repart with a high three-point shot. No good. Bailey, though, 
getting the rebound and young man's played hard tonight. AK got I think that's Hels Helser, Helser I yeah, that's his third. So the fouls are uh, accumulating here for Allen East and Ridgemont might have an opportunity to get to the foul line and yeah. maybe try and claw back in this one. Well, they've shot a ton of free throws coming into this contest. Nice back cut. Indeed. Couldn't finish, though. Man's a little strong. Klum fires this one down and gets it back. 6.18 remaining in the fourth quarter. Three ball by Ethan Young is no good. And slapped out of bounds. It's going to stay down here with the Mustangs. Yeah, I think if uh, Coach Young would have had to do that one over again, he just told Ethan, hey, just slow down, run the offense. It's a perfect opportunity to be in first game of the year to work on the little things. Mm -hmm. You built the lead. Now let's play Let's play a solid fourth quarter and do what we need to do execution-wise. Plum turnaround shot, no good. Gophers with the rebound and running. Man, it's taking it on the court and Slapped away, Ethan Young with another block, and we're going to have a technical foul. I believe they've got Ethan Young on that, too. Yeah, made a great play defensively, blocking the shot. I don't know whether he had said something or made a gesture, but uh, the official blew the whistle right on the spot. So they were right there, and Xavier Stuck will get a free throw. We'll get two shots, actually. Lee's famous recipe free throws. His first one misses. And the LA student section made sure that he do it. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with that. Second Lee's free throw is no good. Stuck came into the game 7 of 12 in the early going from the charity stripe. And now we're going to have a timeout. 5.53 remaining in the fourth quarter. It's a 14-point Allen East lead here on WOSN. Welcome back. Just under six minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. It's a 14-point lead for the Mustangs, 58-44. After a uh, frenetic scoring, well, at least for Allen East in the third quarter, it's uh, slowed to a bit of a crawl. Only one field goal so far for Allen East. A free throw is all that Ridgemont has, and the Gophers looking for a little more. And imagine part of that timeout was maybe telling Ridgemont, look, there's no 14-point play in the book. You still right. got six minutes, a yeah, little bit less than that. Possession at a time. Yep. Reppard kicks it out to Howard, and... Uh, another turnover for the Golden Gophers. Yeah, that's one of those you got to utilize the bounce pass. Allen East went to a little 2 3 matchup zone. Ridgemont did a pretty good job attacking it. Just got to take care of it a little better. Elzer stops, pops, and doesn't get it to go. And Bailey saves that one from going out of bounds. Swinging it around. Man's in the corner. Three, no good. Howard with the rebound. Good hustle by that young man on the glass. That's a good rebound by him, too. And Reppert saving that one from going out of bounds. High ball, and Bailey corrals it. Reppert drives baseline, kicks it back out. Now to Bailey, top of the key. No. Good execution, though, by Ridgemont. Mm -hmm. It all started with the effort on the glass by Howard, then the save by Reppert. Klum brings it up, 440 remaining. Mustangs looking to win game number one this season. Yeah, very content just to go a little four out, one in, sometimes into a five out motion game, dribble drive, kick. Jones drives in, can't finish. A little uh, slow to get up there on the other nice end. Move Meanwhile, Mans Mans. finishes on the other end, and it's a 58 46 Allen East lead. Shield at the basketball, great hustle by Stuck. A good effort there by Stuck trying to get a turnover and 
was out of bounds when he touched the basketball, so it'll be Allen East basketball. So Brady Brooks checking back in for the Mustangs with four fouls. That will send Grant Slusser to the bench. Young inbounds to Klum, and the ball stolen away. Mans, and how about Young getting there for a block? Hey, he plays exceptionally hard. You know, the turnover was caused right there, but he came back with a big block right there, also by Ridgemont, also by Young getting that block shot. Ridgemont basketball, dribbling in, Mans, and blocked again by Young. Plump, bring it up against Howard. Now Young, got a shot at, off balance, no good, and slapped away Helzer off his foot into the hands of Carson Klum. Looking to the other side, Brooks gives it back to Klum. Yeah, he's calling out Carolina. He wants to spread the basketball. Here's Hensley driving in, off the glass and in. Nice athletic play right there, attacking the glass and finishing at the rim. Here's Bailey from three-point range, and no good. Bailey struggled from three-point land ever since the first quarter. Knocked down his first couple and then just hasn't had the range ever since, and now a foul on the floor. Like they're going to get Reppert with his third. Yeah, he's done a Team pretty second. good job keeping himself out of foul trouble. Got to two early in the first quarter. Yeah, he had two early in the second quarter and thought eh, he might see not see a ton of time. And Karam's off his face just then. Into the hands of the Mustang. Now here's Brooks kicking it out. Young looking to go. Goes up off the glass and in. And a good thing right there. He kept his composure. Didn't rush it. Got squared up and finished. Nice pass by Stuck. Into the Howard's hands and he puts it in. Very unselfish play. Good finish by Howard. 62-48 Allen East. 2.23 remaining. Pulls up, no good. Followed his own shot, but then right into the hands of the Gophers. Mann's trying to create. Hey, that's Count a big it. finish right there, partner. That's strong with the basketball. Little right to left spin back. Got the contact and knocked it in. Gives him 11. Chance for a three-point play is... My goodness, three with double figures and a fourth with nine. That was also the fourth foul on Carson Klum. You think Coach Young said something to him? Maybe. Uh, yeah. Lee's free throw is no good. And Stuck able to follow it up. That's a big one, gets chopping it. it down to 10 with 157 to go. Timeout. On the floor here with 157 remaining. Yeah, down to a 10 point lead. Look at this one. And it wasn't that long ago. We were just looking at this. It's a 16 point game. And if, you follow, if you follow Allen East basketball, there were a number of times like this last year. In fact, their playoff game last year, they had a significant lead against Bluffton. Saw Bluffton come back, eventually win that game. So uh, I'm sure there are a lot of Mustang fans that are like, hey, uh, this we're going to hold this, well, right? This is where you got to lean on your senior leadership. And Hensley and Klum, you got to lean on them. You got to get the basketball in Klum's hand. You got to make smart decisions with the basketball. You know what? Ridgemont was down 30 plus the other night, as I told you, and they cut the thing down to under double digits with two minutes to go. They could have folded the tents, and they yep. didn't. So, you know what? And I'm sure that's what the coaches are telling me. Hey, guys, we were down this much. Blah, 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 blah. Let's get a couple stops. Attack the rim. We're still in this thing. Yep. We got two timeouts left. 
Current 6-0 run for Ridgemont. And it wouldn't take two possessions in a row that you score points on. And guess what? Right. It'd be a two possession game at that point. Absolutely. So Allen East basketball, 157. Ridgemont trying to climb back into this one. Allen East looking to put them away. Good job by Allen East maintaining her po composure and breaking the press. Clum kicks out. Jones thought about it and dribbles out. They're going to try and bleed some clock here as that shot is up and no good. Jones floated that one up, and now Ridgemont kind of the opposite. They're going to need to score quickly. Oh, nice Man pass. Spin move out to Bailey. Bailey can't finish. Helzer in there for the rebound. And Helzer will head to the line. Yeah, I think they'll they take got that Colton. back. No, he won't. 30? Okay. Yeah. So they got Colton Bailey. I think I think was supposed to have been on yeah. Colton Mance, and they got Colton Bailey. That's his first. Yeah, that's a tough one. He sort of short armed it, didn't get it on the glass. Left it a little short. Ridgemont with two more fouls to give. How about that? Scoop shot up and good by Carson Klum. Looks like he might have come up a little limp after that as well. 12-point lead. And Bailey splash down. Yeah, it's under double digits. It is, 64-55. Klum oh, bringing nice it up, screen. taking it strong. Around the rim and in. And Gabe Young calling timeout. And Klum is a little slow to get up. They favor in that left ankle. And then he trots is it, off. Is it or is it a hip? That's what I'm wondering. He come down pretty hard. Oh, I think he's cramping up a little bit. That could be too, yeah. So they're going to attend to him on the sideline. We'll take a timeout. 51 seconds left. 11 point lead for Allen East. You're watching high school basketball here on WOSN. Fifty-one point four seconds remaining, and eleven point. Allen East leads sixty-six to fifty-five. Clum is back out there on the court. Little token two-two-one three-quarter court by the Mustangs. And Reppert is going to take that one up and in. Nice take by that young man to the rim, giving him four. And the foul as that will be the fourth one on Ridgemont. And I would expect a fifth foul and quite possibly a sixth foul coming up uh, quickly. Yeah, by that reaction, how quick that foul, if they don't get the steal, that's what you gotta believe. And there's the foul committed by Colton Manns. That is his first. Yeah, that's what Coach Tillman's saying. Guys, we got a foul right away. Yep. They got to find a way to get the ball back if they can't get the steal. So. I beat that, so is, it looks that like his? it's at five. Do they go to the line at five? I, New rules this year in high school basketball, hence our right. confusion. So it looks like on the fifth foul, okay. they head to the line. Okay. So Lee's famous recipe free throw is up and it is good. Deacon Jones knocks it down. It's had a good night. 13 for that young man. On his way to number 14. We Game honors right now goes to Mr. Klum with 15. But look at the balance scoring by both ball clubs. Both coaches have to be pleased with the balance scoring. Second Lee's recipe chicken free throw is up and good. 11 point lead for Allen East. 68 57, 30 seconds remaining. Stuck takes this one in strong. 68 59. And that will put Jones back to the line once again. That's on Colton Mann's his second. Yeah, Mr. Jones. Has a chance to have game honors right here. He's tied right now with Carson Clum with 15 each. 
First Lee's free throw is up and good. Mr. Jones, a five foot nine inch sophomore. And Coach Young's gonna take a timeout. 23 seconds remaining in this one. So Allen East is gonna pick up win number one on the season. Richmond is gonna go to one and two here in the early campaign. And um, this was about what this contest was last year. I don't know what you draw from that yet. It's, it's but, competitive, yeah. you know. The thing is now, Ridgemont can go back, break the takedown, which I know they will. They're going to work on their fundamentals. They're going to clean some things up from the tape tonight. You know, they had one bad, you know, spurt there in the third quarter. Like you said, what, 19 to 2 or 19 mm -hmm. to 1 run? 19 to 2, and yes. And that's what's did it in. It did them in so far, excuse me, but. You know, they battled and they've competed. They, they got it down into double digits here in the fourth quarter. Just clean a few things up. They've got some time off. I, what did I say? This 16th of December, mm -hmm. they host West Jefferson out of Columbus area. And then Allen East plays LCC, LCC. Yeah, they've got at, at LCC this coming weekend. Yep, Lima Central Catholic. And you know what you're going to get there? You're yep. going to get Parker. You're going to get... Uh, Billy Burke. <laughs> Billy Burke. Yep. We're missing some. Who's some of the other ones? <laughs> a lot of them's football kids, and I'm telling right, yeah. you, they are competitive. They won the tip-off classic, correct? And they beat Shawnee in the tip-off. They did, tip yes, yeah. Yeah, LCC is is uh, going to be a stout early test for this Mustang team. Quatman? Is there a Quatman on there? There probably is. There has been <laughs> for years, <laughs> right? There's, there's usually a Quatman. Lee's free throw, first one is no good. Ball is kicked and Brooks comes up with it. Final seconds into the hands of Carson Klum and they will foul with 11.2 seconds left. And I know what you're getting ready to say. You're a little bit shook because of the only one free throw. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, he took and made the first one, then Coach Young called that's it. That's right. That was so long ago. Oh, yeah. That's about that first free throw. That's right. They took uh, free throws in between. That least free throw is good. That's the first one. That was the first one, partner. <laughs> Clum now tied for game honors. Stop moving my cheese. With Jones. <laughs> Second least free throw is good. Clum with 17 points, leading all scorers tonight, I do believe. So a great first night for the senior. Great first night for the Mustangs. As they have a 12 point lead with 9.6 remaining. Want to check to make sure Mr. Stuck was okay. They're diving into the stands. Bounced right back up. Good effort there, good hustle. And it looks like the fouling will be done. Carson will hold the ball at center court. And that is gonna do it for this one. Allen East with a 71-59 win here to open up their 23-24 campaign against Ridgemont. Hey, what a fun one. Way oh, to start off the season. Awesome. Kids shot the ball really well from both teams. I thought, I thought Ridgemont did a really good job controlling the tempo in the first half, utilizing the bounce pass, doing what they needed to do. They were down one. Allen East does what they do best, and that's the variation to pressure. That third quarter is what got Ridgemont behind the eight ball, and they never could re recover. But not a bad first night for Allen East. Ridgemont, you can see it. The effort's there. They play team basketball. They're going to win a lot of games. They just got to continue to listen to what the coaches tell them to do and continue to work at their game. Allen East. You know, come back, get prepared for a good LCC team, and I think you're going to see both teams get a lot of Ws this year, partner. It was a 19-3 spurt there for Allen East, and that really was what was able to help them pull away for a 71-59 victory tonight here in the Corral. That's going to do it for our coverage of high school boys basketball. I want to thank Megan Sherrick and all of our staff at WOSN for helping us bring this game to you here on WOSN. For Darren Gilbert, I'm Patrick Hamler. Thank you so much for joining us. So long, everyone, from the Corral.